by the time Luther came of age, organized Christianity bore little resemblance to its earliest days. The church had abandoned its prophetic voice and become a political force, trusting not in God's wisdom, power, and strength, but in its own. The finished work of Jesus Christ at Calvary had been replaced with the ritual of the mass, sacrificing the Lord anew whenever the congregation gathered. The people's hope was not in the righteousness of Christ alone, but instead in their ability to meet the commands of God. Deceivers and swindlers wandered the streets, peddling their false promise that as soon as the gold in the casket rings, the rescued soul to heaven springs. The Bible, written by and to the common man, had been snatched from his grasp, its contents known only to an elite few. In November 1518, Luther was summoned to Augsburg to appear before an assembly and defend his theses. Three days of debate proved fruitless. Cardinal Thomas Cajetan continued to defend the practice of issuing and selling indulgences. Luther refused to recant and return to Wittenberg. But the controversy didn't end there. Luther continued to write, publish, and teach, formulating and clarifying the doctrines which would become the foundation for the Reformation. Papal commissions studied his works and declared them heretical. Pope Leo X declared him a heretic and excommunicated him in early 1521. And then, at the Diet of Worms, Luther was called to defend himself once again. He was put under enormous pressure but Luther wouldn't be swayed. Unless I am convinced by the testimony of the Holy Scriptures or by evident reason, for I can believe neither Pope nor councils alone, as it is clear that they have erred repeatedly and contradicted themselves. I consider myself convicted by the testimony of Holy Scripture, which is my basis. My conscience is captive to the word of God. This I cannot and will not recant because acting against one's conscience is neither safe nor sound. God help me. Amen. Declared a heretic by Leo X and vilified by Holy Roman Emperor Charles V, Luther went into hiding in Eisenach. And although he might not have said those famous words, here I stand, this much is clear. In exile, Luther never wavered. In fact, he became even more bold. He wrote and taught and reformulated his doctrines with indefatigable zeal. He began to translate the New Testament into German so that everyday folks could have the Bible in their own language for the very first time. Here in exile, his desire for moral reformation morphed into the desire for a complete transformation, the establishment of a new church one which was modeled after the church visible in the New Testament. 